Well, boys, <clears throat> another episode back in the saddle. Back no in more the trap. Pre-recorded episodes. You know, what I was thinking about <laughs> on vacation it, the other day. Is how much how, you want to suck a man's penis? No, it said how I'm I'm both Gaston and Beast, and Adam, you're that faggot candle and stuff. You're that gay ass clock. No, yeah, I'm well, definitely Gaston. No, I am I'm French. Gaston and Beast. I'm no both way, of them. dude. Because the I was beast. trying to figure out who is who. You're the Beast because you need a woman to save you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the Beast cause and I'm Gaston because I'm I represent Not both the yin and yang of masculinity. <laughs> yeah, you're the old dad. You're no, you're the dad. clock. No, no. Stav is I'm the clock Gaston. and you're that candle. I'm Gaston when he I'm, changed his ways. No, no, you know, no. You guys are fucking way off. You're way off. And you you are absolutely that. I'm clock. Gaston if Gaston fucks Bell in the movie. No, you're a gastric bypass surgery. <laughs> oh, that's, all right, that's very good. <laughs> Fine, I am the clock. That was very good. <laughs> you got a pun out of it. Now, Adam, admit you're the candle. <laughs> I'm saying I'm the candle. I'm French. I have a more continental uh, you perspective on things. Lumiere. Yeah. You yeah. fit Lumiere into fuck, men's asses. Dude. Lumiere are fucked in that, like, you know, a cuckolding people who stay at the host- hostel sort Absolute. of way. That is the way Adam fucks, too. Yeah. Just like, a just slimy leech. Surreptitiously, yeah. little thin-ass mustache. That's not true. It's through charm yeah, dude. and... Gr- <clears throat> no. But, okay. Wrong. Fucking finding Wrong, to- bitch. I'm cute and I'm charming. <clears throat> You're gay. No, and correct. ugly. Another thing I was thinking about the other day is... <laughs> someone was trying to tell me about... Someone was... was pandering to me and saying that they listen to the show and I know they don't. Mm-hmm. They just saw some like YouTube clip yeah. that you were talking about. Oh yeah, you know you were talking about uh how how R two D two is gay and I'm like, I don't remember that, but sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. I and have then, no right. And then it's someone probably. corrected them and they said, No, it's how C three PO is gay. I'm oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, we've of talked course. about that yeah, many yeah. times. But I was just laughing, imagining like, what if they redid Star Wars but C-3PO is the normal or the straight one now. <laughs> and then R2-D2 is the gay one. So Beep. they're like, we got to destroy Beep. the Death Beep. Star. <laughs> and he comes in, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like oh. yeah, right. Yeah, that kind of shit. Whoa, dude, you're like Michael... Uh, what's his name? Um, the police academy guy. Yeah, yeah. Michael Winslow. Winslow. Michael Winslow. Get no, the fuck out of my fucking. No, no water, relation. Uh, by the way, to Michael Jackson, which a lot of people confuse. They think they're related. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought a lot of people think um, Winslow from uh, from Family from Matters. Family Matters. Yeah. Oh wow! I never considered that. Yep. You really didn't? No, I'm kidding. I wow. was. I saw. I saw. Uh, uh, I was. I was in Coronado in San Diego. Ooh. And I saw the USS Carl Vinson, which I kept oh, calling the yeah. Carl, the Carl Winslow. Winslow. Yeah. And no one laughed at that. Damn, that's how you know you weren't with the fucking. Yeah, you the need boys, to be with dude. the boys for yeah. that one. Carl Winslow. That's, that's where they one. keep all the Navy SEALs there. Really? Yeah. Did you go in and fight them and beat them up? I mean, of course. <laughs> well, people kept confusing me for Chris Kyle. <laughs> he has risen. Oh, yeah. Truly, he has risen. Yeah. Chris, is that you? Is Are you sniping right now? <laughs> He's up in heaven. Sniping. sniping. Sniping Muslims in hell. <laughs> the furthest distance away from hell you can get is Chris Kyle's heaven. He's shooting them all the way from heaven down to hell where all the Muslims live. Sending them to extra hell. Yeah. <laughs> Setting records. Uh, double Muslim hell. Yeah. Um, hell yeah, dude. SD, your boy was out in New Orleans. I was out there getting, you know, living the life, dude. The yeah. life of luxury. I had the best fried chicken of my damn life. At that Where? gas station? No, it's better than Hank's. It's better than Hank's. That Willie gas Mays. station has such good food. Oh, my God. I got a fucking... Po- I got fried fish, a fucking... Po- and it's cheap. It's fucking yeah, two dude. pieces of fish for 50 cents. Man, New Orleans is the best city in the U.S. I love it, it really dude. is. We should retire there. Yeah. We should have a fucking... We should do... We should do, like, a, a residency, dude. Just a week The thing a is, it's not city. fucking cheap. You think it would be cheaper than it is. It... It... it, you, it there's parts that are cheap as shit, though. I don't know. I remember when I was living in Austin, I was like talking to people who lived in New Orleans, and they were telling me what rents were, and I was like, "Oh, Jesus, that's like, oh, it's really? like East Coast prices." Yeah. I don't know what the rents are. The fuck it's like it's like comparable to like Philly. The fried chicken was cheap, baby. Well, Philly is pretty cheap. Shouts out Philly's, Willie Mays. Philly's cheap for an East Coast city. Yeah, but I mean, Philly's still expensive. Yeah, compared to Baltimore. It's, it's yeah, so yeah much but even even York. then, I mean, like if you want to live in like Charles Village and like a, a yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. in like a 
a nicer house or whatever, I mean, it's still going to be expensive. Nah. No, you can figure it out. Yeah. Well, I, let's put it this way. You're not going to have an entire apartment for $600, which is something you could do in Austin. Like, oh, what, a one-bedroom? Yeah, I had a yeah, one. you could. Really? Yeah, George has a George had a in Baltimore. Yeah, you had a, he has a one bedroom for like seven hundred or something. I was shit. paying two fifty for my room. Jesus Christ! I mean, I was paying three hundred in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. This shit rules, dude. But yeah, New Orleans fucking rocks. A whole a whole apartment with a lease for six hundred a month. Yeah, I mean, his is nice. I don't know, man. I, there was I, I, there, the, my old roommate. She had a a, a one bedroom in Highland Park, mm-hmm. which is like a shithole. Yeah, you know, and she was paying seven fifty. Dog, his is eight hundred in Charles Village. Yeah, that's eight hundred. But I mean, uh, yeah, his I is really right. nice, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, um, but yeah, dude, New Orleans fucking. Well, her rocks. apartment was actually nice. It was just like in, in a shitty spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of that in Baltimore. There's a lot of beautiful ass house. Like all that shit in uh, like by the park, by Druid Hill Park. Those beautiful, big ass, ornate mm-hmm. houses. They're like the brownstones here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't get gentrified because none of the people are white. Like that's why there's Greek that Town one, gets gentrified. That one, that one street by. Like just west of of Druid Hill Park, yeah. That's those like six story, yes, like, exactly. Mansion with the same like the they're Charles Village dude. colors, yes. You know? mm-hmm. But half of them are like fire damaged. Yeah, they're fucked up. Yeah, I I, fucked, I think they're owned I by I think, one of those ones. I think they're owned by like historical societies. Really? Yeah, it was awesome. Is that where they were dropping the bodies in season <clears throat> four of the wire? No, no, no. F- further back than that. That's West B. That's that is West Baltimore. It's the beginning of West Baltimore. Oh, we're word. talking about yeah. Um, but yeah, those are some fucking beautiful ass houses. You ever see the movie? Um, it's the uh, uh, Liberty Heights. No, I no. It's uh, part of Barry the guy who Levinson's did Diner. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Diner. I haven't seen it. That's the only one I haven't seen. Yeah, it's it's good. Yeah. I saw it when it came out, but it's well, all maybe I, guess, I have. Is that the one where it's like the Jewish little kid and the yeah, black yeah, girl? It, I think it's well, all like shot. It's all shot around like Mondawmin Mall huh? and stuff. Oh, okay. Or at least that's where it takes place. Yeah, Mondaman, Mondaman's got a facelift. Have you been there recently? No. It's looking good, dude. Got the damn Target. 17 uh, shoe stores. <laughs> if yeah. you want to go shopping for shoes, go to Mondaman, baby. Um, it looks like a nice sanitized-ass fucking mall. They got malls a Marshalls. They, they should got bring a Marshalls. malls back. That's the cool thing I about, love malls. about Los Angeles is that there's malls everywhere. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's where they invented, like, the Valley Girl accent was just dumb bitches Cruising going to the buy mall. shoes or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Being Armenian. <laughs> yeah. And they're going around like, like, what? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my fucking shit? Is it fu- you? Listen to me, you fuck. <laughs> and then people are like, we should all talk this way. Yes. Everyone should say... I say it. I say, people are like. Yeah. You know? I throw I like everywhere. I can't just say, and then people say... I used to say, and then they go. I'll say, happened. and then they go every once in a while. I don't know what happened to go. Go th- was great. I think go's still in the mix. Yeah. We gotta take the language back from... I th- You know what? I think that's honestly a Gavin McInnes thing. What? He's, that he doesn't say he like. He doesn't like like? Really? He's he one of those people. Like. Ugh. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Which I is, like yeah. to get my dick sucked. Yeah, how about that? That's pretty for cool. A use of well, like. that you're using it in the right way, not as a filler. Being a nerd about that I kind like, of shit is like you. You're I supposed like, to pull your penis through the zipper hole. That's <laughs> why yeah. you're not supposed to unbutton your pants. There's a hole there for a reason. Has anyone ever done that in their? In, I've tried. In their I tried doing it. Anytime I'm wearing a suit, I try doing it. Your fucking and then I end up like ripping everything. Cock. Fuck all the clothes through yes. the hole. And it's a nightmare. It's brutal. You guillotine the bottom of your cock. I end up just pulling my pants all the way down to the floor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like you want People to. People are like, oh my God, is that man anyway. retarded? And they're like, oh no, he's wearing a business suit. <laughs> 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 he could be the president of the retarded people. Yeah. Is there one that they make? Yep, president? there is. Whatever you're yes. going to say. <laughs> yes. That 100% exists. Yeah. The it president was, it was of Johnny being Knoxville. retarded. <laughs> Is Johnny Knoxville one of those like blue brown fucking checkered suits he was well, wearing he did everywhere? It, he he did it to get into the Special Olympics. Oh uh, yes, yeah. the Ringer, yeah, a that, fine piece of cinema. Fine, I haven't seen that. But have you seen the uh, the South Park episode where Cartman pretends to be retarded? Yes, yes. that's it like one of the best. Fucking episodes. rocks, and he still loses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that fucking montage they do, unbelievable. With the Scarface theme. Yes, push it, push to, the it to the limit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just his cut, face he's so cutting funny. his hair all fucked <laughs> yeah. up and practicing being retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we could win the Special Olympics? No. What about powerlifting? 
No, I don't. You know what's fucked that. up? I think that they should call the regular Olympics the Special Olympics, <laughs> and then the retarded one the Olympics. <laughs> 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 the retarded right. one happens every year. <laughs> the regular Olympics only happens every four years. The people in the regular Olympics are better at all. Are very special. It's a more special event. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, the opening ceremonies at the fucking Beijing Olympics, that's special. Yeah, dude. You know what I mean? What What's the opening ceremonies at the Special Olympics? Oh, it's yeah. Phenomenal. What if, like, China just dominates in the Special Olympics because no one can tell if they have Down syndrome <laughs> or not? <laughs> just sending all the regular guys. People are like, we can't, we don't know how to check. There's no test to check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I missed you guys this week. It was but like, we were just out there, dude. You were you out know, in the world living I was here life. In New York. Kind of going crazy. It was like the first week that I didn't have a job where I didn't have to do come town stuff. Dude, I, no joke. I start itching. When it's like three or four days, yeah, I want to talk come, dude. Yeah, I know. I want to hang with my boys. I changed my look this week. You did? Yeah. It, you look exactly the same. I don't know. I, you don't notice anything different? Is it glasses? No, I got the same glasses. Did you get a tattoo or something? I didn't get a tattoo. You didn't change you anything. You can't notice it. Oh, no. oh, you're doing a bit. You're growing out your mustache? No. How much growth what? is that? Really? This? Like yeah. three days. But, but wait, you oh. guys literally can't... Nick, you can't see? What are you talking about? You don't see it? No, just do the bit. It's not a bit, dude. You I, really I, did I, something It's pretty different? dark in here. I can't it see. It is pretty dark. My vision's been getting worse. Did you worse. Right. your hair? What? All right. I'm going to stand. I'm going to turn the lights on and you'll see. Okay. No, don't f don't touch my light switches. Are you joking for real? No. Don't touch if you're joking, part, don't get up. Any part of the electrical. You can't tell right now what's different about my look. Is it the shirt? No, it's not the shirt. What? What the fuck? Just say it. You can't tell. How, shut up, man! This is going to be so stupid. Yeah, it's there's, not stupid. There's going to be it's no gonna be payoff. Funny. It's not. There's not going to be. What is it? Just say what it is. Just look. There's nothing different about you, Did motherfucker. You get oh here? my god! He fucking pierced his ear. <laughs> <laughs> This motherfucker pierced his ear. Ah! You can't see. <laughs> Holy shit! I missed you guys what this a week. Fucking asshole! He got a little round earring on his shit. Ah! It was so hard not to tell you, but I wanted it to be a surprise. I figured it was that. I, I said, "Did you get a stupid tattoo or something?" I no, but like I went a to a tattoo. Oh my god! I got, I, I changed you look my body. Dumb as shit, dude. No, I don't, dude. I look like Harrison Ford. You, look so, you do. You look stupid as shit. Harrison you look Ford. Like the Harrison Ford shit? than fucking Callista Flockhart, the Indiana worst version Bones of men. Of, <laughs> there we go, the yeah. worst version of Harrison. Ford. All right, I'm gonna sit back down. But you don't, you, look you don't stupid, like it, dude. That's a dumb little ass earring, dude. What? I think it's cool. It I looks mean, like that I came think... at a, a fucking vending machine at the grocery store. No, it came I, from I had a... my ear pierced when I was in second grade. I got oh, my well, fucking yeah. left ear pierced. I was so bad at what it. Kind, a... What kind of what, was it? A little circle guy? No, I, I, it got what? infected immediately because oh, I didn't yeah. take care of it. So it, the piercing oh, I've been lasted taking care of mine. But for like a for week and a half. But what was it? It was like a little like ruby, I think. Hell oh, yeah! You got your fat ass, stone, bro. Little fat ass bowl cut, you? Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't. I think I had a crew cut at the time. Oh, I went, even I went better. Hardcore, dude. Sweatpants, bum equipment, no. yes, denim, my bitch. Chuck Taylors. Yes. I was a cool <laughs> dude. Second grade. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. So that's basically me at thirty. You look fucking stupid. I don't look stupid, dude. You know what I was thinking about doing for real is getting a gold tooth. Yeah. My like front, a cap. My front gold because it's fucked. Up. I got that eighty dollar root canal. It's just some random dentist who filled it up, and it doesn't look. It looks horrible. Yeah. So I'm thinking, why not get fronts on my front right tooth? You know, get yeah. a gold tooth. Start wearing. I've been thinking about getting changed for a couple, a couple what weeks. Kind now. Of I'm going to use a razor blade to cut scars into my eyebrows. There we go. But I'm going to pay pay someone thousands of dollars to do it <laughs> yes. rather than just do it myself. Do people do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, D'Angelo yeah. Russell. That's like a cool. Oh, the look. little things, the little yeah. slashes. Oh, yeah, 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 Nick yeah. Van Exel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think. You I mean, Jordan had a hoop earring. Yeah, yeah. Tell so, Michael Jordan keep yeah. his hoop earring in. Yeah, yeah. You should get the d long dangly one, like Sinbad. Oh yeah. When I get to change it out, I'm gonna go all different types of styles. What? They went ring first instead of stud. Uh, no. I he I asked, for, asked ring. for the ring. Of course he did. Yeah. I thought you had to get like a stud and told the the shit. Yeah. Well, that's what heels. the Japanese man at the first place I went to said, and then I went to another place, and they're like, "We don't give a fuck." Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna <laughs> fuck your ear up? 
Maybe. Why I don't did know. you get your ear pierced? Good for a girl, for sure. Because yeah. I was going crazy. Not 100%. Doing he was, he, here's what happened. He was at the beach with a fucking girl, and she was like, You should pierce your ear. And he was like, I'll do it. No. And they giggled, and then they fucking kissed. I did it before we yeah, kissed that's at fucking the beach. Stupid, but dude. you did it because of a girl. Yeah, you look like a fucking idiot. I'm I, getting that I don't tattoo. Admit, on my it, bicep admit that you did. Of Mickey Mouse with the sunglasses throwing yes. the dice. A hundred percent, yes. I'm going to make that happen. It was an impulsive decision yes. with a girl. Not with a girl. Lying. You're lying to I me. Was not. Was she I there? Can, once I can and put those 35s back on the preacher curl bar and I get my gun smoked. Oh, yes, my bitch. Are that's you going to get a tattoo? That's when I'm getting that Mickey Mouse throwing the dice. I got to <laughs> inflate my buys up. <laughs> They're too narrow right now. Oh, uh, you're looking good, bro. I Dude, I'm, I'm fucking Your arms shit. look, when you flex, though. Yeah, you know? that's pretty big arms, That's dude. a big arm boy yeah, right yeah, there, yeah. boy. Nice Ooh, arms. Wait. Nice arms, Skip. Do you see Skip's yeah. arms? Yeah, I see mud flaps <laughs> arms. <laughs> uh, dick <laughs> mouth. What are you? Sweet Sweet, sweet lips. cock. Little sweet ass. Lips. Wide ass. Wide hole. That's what you were. Wide hole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. As long as I am I'm candy lips. <laughs> candy lips. That was you. Yeah. Adam, you should get your asshole pierced. Yeah. How do you do that? To impress a man. Oh, perfect. But then you can't have sex. No, he has to put it, he has to sneak it through the middle. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you can have sex, but then you become permanently attached. Oh. Oh, That's kind of romantic. That's That's how Muslims do it. Really? I I don't know. Sure, why not? (laughs) (laughs) You know what I saw at, uh, in New Orleans, I saw one night to kind of wind down was Spawn. That movie sucks so hard, dude. Oh, yeah, the movie? The, yeah. the movie oh, yeah. Spawn dude, is so I fucking bad. I was laughing bad. about it. Have you seen yeah, the, the clown series? guy? Dude, it's John Leguizamo just yeah. so yeah, in yeah, a yeah, fat yeah. suit looking but horrible. But you know what? That's a good performance by John Leguizamo. The rest of the the, the movie around John Leguizamo fucking sucks, but John yeah. Leguizamo is the vo- violator. That's like a good role. When I, was in, I suppose, when I was but in like, third grade, it's then. such a I, shitty I, movie. I, fucking, I love John Leguizamo. I the was was my favorite movie today. And I thought he was myself, great, John Wick. I thought to myself, you know who doesn't get enough credit? John Leguizamo, Luigi from the Super Mario. Movie. <laughs> John, Dude, the ghetto clown. Did himself. you guys like the pest in like second grade? I used to oh, think yeah. that movie was, was so funny. hilarious. I only I saw hit the puberty in first pre- grade. The other kids called me fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, every, that scene where he's taking a shower and farting used to be like my favorite thing. In the I never world. saw it. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, I loved it. Um, Dude, how bad was the fucking CGI in that movie? It was impossible, dude. Yeah, real well, bad. Well, the, the HBO Spawn series, um, which like fo- is just like the comics, like like Todd McFarlane had more uh-huh. uh, involvement in it, I guess. Uh, the episodes start off with an introduction by Todd McFarlane, mm-hmm. who is just some nerd that draws comics. Oh wow! But he's got this like he, he kind of you know he's got like slick back hair. He kind of looks like that. Uh, is it Dean Winters? Is that the guy, the, the uh, Ryan from, or the o- O'Brien from Oz, the brothers in Oz? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah I don't know. That guy? I don't know what his name is, yeah. yeah. I can't remember, but yeah. he kind of looks like him. But they start off, and it, like, it's a, it, 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 like, zooms in on him while he's sitting at his fucking, like, you know, twisted <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, drawing yeah, yeah. factory, and he turns around, <laughs> and he's like, you're go you uh, you die and you're about to go to hell. Newsflash: somebody offers you another chance at life. Do you take it? No time to answer. You got to make a decision one way or the other. That's what happened to a guy named Spawn. I'm Todd McFarlane. The cre- <laughs> Listen, I'm the creator of Spawn. It's like, they just like could didn't have a better take than that. That's incredible. And it's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> That's the one they it's use. So, it's they do it every time. I, I mean, I I remember watching the series and not seeing that intro. I think maybe like the rip I had just they cut that out. Right, right, right. Because it's like such so a low bad. point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's very funny. Is the series good? Um, I don't really give a shit. Yeah, about yeah. It. I, I read Spawn as a kid. That was the only comic I ever read. Mm-hmm. And it's too uh, scary for me. There was a TV show on Fox too, right? I don't know. Maybe it was spooky. Um, You're thinking of the Tick. No, there might have been a kids version of Spawn. I don't think it was a kids version. No, I thought I think it was like a f- like X this in the lineup with the X Files. Was there? Maybe I'm wrong. So. Well, the HBO version was the one. That anyhow, fuck it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> that was the only comic I read. So I tried rereading it again as an adult a couple years ago. Uh-huh. I like just downloaded it. And it's really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, it's like... The, the, the plot of the movie made no fucking sense. Satan, like, needed a so, a soldier for his army or yeah, some yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Satan, like, Satan is, like... Uh, 
He's he's got an arm. He's going to wage war against God or whatever. Yeah, why isn't the clown just so? Do it? So what's the, well, the clown is a demon. Mm-hmm. So the clown is like a general or whatever, right? In you know Satan's army, but I guess they need souls or yeah, for whatever yeah, reason, yeah, and I mean, the demon's not a soul. Doesn't make any sense. So Satan gives Al Simmons the power to like come back to Earth as long as he agrees to be a part of his like army or whatever. But anytime he uses his powers, he like loses some of them, and he gets closer to being sent back to hell. Oh, that sucks! And, like his life it sucks. Does he get the fuck? He got well, he got cucked. What? He gets back to Earth in the in the comic books. The first thing that happens is he gets back to Earth, and uh, he sees that his wife is fucking his best friend. Oh yeah, that's what happened in the fucking movie. That's what happens whenever and, you die. Yeah, and they <laughs> they have a kid, and like uh, she couldn't get pregnant while he was alive, and he found, finds out like as a dead person that his like sperm was fucked up. Oh, and so this other guy nutted in his wife. What? And <laughs> created uh, like oh a, my god a mixed race baby. No. Yeah. M- mixed race. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's part of going that's to hell. That's disg- <laughs> Yeah, that's why he went to hell because yeah. his death allowed for the creation of a mixed well, race. Well, Spawn was Spawn's part of that like you know performative like identity bullshit in the nineties where it's like, yeah, he's a hero, and he's black. <laughs> yeah, Got yeah, a yeah, problem yeah. with it? And it's right. like, no, not really. Not at you all. Know, well, pff, pff, you better not. Yeah, actually, no, I have no problem at all. It's <laughs> yeah, kinda, right. I think it's kind of cool. Nobody cares, Todd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Was he a black guy, Todd McFarlane? No, he's no. a white guy. Um, Michael Jai White played him though. That was and that guy fucking rules. I'm mm, so yeah. sad for him because it feels like that movie was such a piece of shit. It fucked his career up. Yeah, probably because he's so yeah. good. He is great. He's so fucking good at karate. Yeah. And shit. You Dude, ever Black see that, Dynamite was so fucking. You ever funny. see that video of him teaching Kimbo Slice how to punch? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that fucking rules. And that that's how Kimbo Slice died. R.I.P. Kimbo. Yep. He tested Michael Jai White mm-hmm. and he fucked him up. What was he in? Michael Jai White. He had a little run there. You no, know, his a middle sec. name is short for vagina. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Vagina <laughs> White. Michael Vagina White. Dude, I'm going to tell him you said that and he's going to fuck you up. No, he's not. First of all, everyone knows that I, I'll compliment other martial artists, but <laughs> I mean, I'm being magnanimous. We all know I'm the fucking best at karate. Dude, I don't know, man. Were you ever in jacked, karate classes? Jacked fro no. karate guy. I, Were you I, in went karate? To, I went to kung fu one time, maybe once or twice. Yeah, that's it. Kung fu. Yeah, I went to taekwondo. I got my little two yellow stripes on the white belt, and I was like, "Fuck this shit." Well, you, no, that means like, nothing, huh? That's not even a yellow belt. This. I know. Yeah, I know. Your parents pay. Just you just paid. pissed your pants a little bit. <laughs> no, <laughs> I did a fucking cool you chop. Yourself. I did a cool chop. Mm-hmm. A beginner's level chop, yeah. and I got a little yellow stripe. I was white belt, and then I killed uh, Sensei Daryl. So they had you the, got the black belt. No, they just they had to kick me out. Oh. They were like, there was no more Sensei, so they couldn't do. They couldn't have a school anymore. Yeah, I cracked yeah. the I cracked the fucking board so hard. <clears throat> no, that, that was a chair, dude. The sp- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It doesn't matter how it breaks. <laughs> it doesn't matter how it breaks, dude. You just have to break wood to get your yellow belt, and that's why I got kicked out. You're I was not, like, you're, technically, you're I did it. Breaking all the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit on those bricks. We need them for the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a Taekwondo maneuver, honestly. Mm. I'm starting my own shit, dude. That is sumo. That's exactly. like you could be a sumo guy. That was that was so You know what's f- funny? There was this like Czech guy, like I don't know, eight years ago or whatever, who uh like got into sumo, but he was like in shape. Mm-hmm. And then he just went over and like dominated he just beat all the fat. Yeah, he was Japanese just good guys. at like you know, throwing them. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we just beat all those fat guys. And he, like, didn't look bad in the diaper or whatever. What's his name? I'm going to avenge my fat brothers. I don't know. Find some him weird bullshit check name, so. There's a Hawaiian guy that was, like, beasting, but he was super fat. But that's all of sumo is all, like, Samoans. Yeah, Samoans yeah, yeah. And, ja- and fat Japanese. Yeah. Um, that was the hack thing. As a child, was everyone's like, yeah, what do you fucking sumo? What do you do, sumo? Yeah. And that's cool. Yoko At least you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone called Yokozuna. And then everyone, everyone, when you said you played soccer, they were like, you oh, know how I you're the I was goalie. When I was kid. Remember the, the wrestling guy, Yokozuna? Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. So I that's thought. live. I thought that Yokozuna. I thought yeah, that Yokozuna was a guy. 
And I thought he, the wrestling guy, was Yokozuna. Me, me I know exactly. And what you're also saying. in sumo, he I was like, thought yeah, that yeah, as yeah. well. Separate from that's exactly WWF. what they thought. That's what they wanted. Dumb I think children to think. Yeah, that. Every yeah. kid was like, dude, this guy beats everyone in Japan, and then yeah, he yeah. comes and fucking yeah. body you, slams. You remember that famous clip of he's fighting uh, Bret Hart, Bret the Hitman Hart, and the whole audience. He's a Hawaiian guy, Yokozuna, and the whole audience. He was the bad guy in the storyline. So they start root. They start chanting USA, USA. But Bret Hart was Canadian. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's a really and the, and the Japanese guy's yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. But he, the Japanese Hawaiian. guy is actually American. Yeah, he's he's yeah. like in that family with The Rock and like. I, I kind of. Uh, I just. I want that new guy. Everyone hates. I want there to be a clip as Batista? good as the no, one of, of John Cena announcing the death of Osama bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing. The best. <laughs> that is the <laughs> best. <laughs> he just. He has no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> In shorts. I am pleased to announce <laughs> that we have compromised <laughs> to a permanent end. <laughs> the terror. Osama bin Laden. God, I've never seen that, dude. Oh, it's incredible. No, it's the funniest shit. Oh, my God. That's He's like, I, I, when I step into this ring, I present hard work and determination with some bullshit. And that is a credo I've adopted from the men and women of the services of armed combat uniform services <laughs> hell yeah dude yeah well, but it's just we've compromised to a permanent end <laughs> because that's technically sad, he's so like stupid. the most American because he played a marine in a movie yeah yeah, yeah. yeah what was that movie called the marine the marine <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I saw that in theaters you did yeah yeah I saw it in theaters We're, too we talked about this already we probably you see Yoko Zuna I saw Yokozuna in Vegas when I was a little kid. My friend Max's uncle took us to a pay-per-view event called Tour de America. And the what? whole time, yeah, Tour we were like America. in third, That was pay-per-view? Yeah, yeah. We were in like third grade. And uh, it was like, I, th I think at the MGM Grand. I, I uh -huh. don't remember. But the whole time, Max told me that he taped real sex, HBO real sex. And we we're going to have a sleepover and watch Hell it when we yeah, got back dude. to his house. And Did so you? we were just like waiting for the Oh, so you didn't give a fuck at all? We were like waiting for No, no, it was tight, dude. I saw I saw Bret Hart, I saw Yokozuna, I saw yeah. there were like a bunch of I went to an auto show when I was five and I met uh two of the American gladiators. That's pretty nice. tight. And uh, the, uh I got signed pictures of them. I was never allowed to watch American Gladiators. Yeah, I didn't watch it either, but I was like, I met the American Gladiators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was showing them off. The I think I already talked about I saw the Hardy Boys and Trish not Trish Stratus, Terry Reynolds. One of them uh, at a fucking mall. At a mall, East yeah. Point Mall. I think I already talked about it though. Yeah. But you talk about real sex. I got caught beating off in college to real sex <laughs> <laughs> in class. Yeah. Yeah, I had it on the projector. <laughs> you were just so fat that you could beat off without yeah. anyone knowing where your arms were. I really was fat, dude. Stop I saw some your thumbs. <laughs> no. I saw a video, dude, of myself. I'm gonna fucking find it and post that shit. I truly was fat as hell oh, in college, yeah. dude. I'm it was college. Yeah, and like when me and Nick's first met, like you, you also knew me. I remember, fat as shit. yeah, yeah. In my head, I just didn't even think. I mean, the, I got fat as hell, dude. I was round as yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. It was like you probably could have rolled me, like yeah. any direction. No, you didn't have knees. <laughs> yeah, it was tough. That shit it was, was hilarious. It was yeah, a yeah. tough look. I cannot believe my fucking college girlfriend stayed with me that long, dude. I was fat as hell. Yeah, yeah. She was cute. What too. a dumb she was bitch. Really cute. Yeah, she's a really nice person. No, I mean for staying with you. I know. I'm sure she's well, a nice person, no, but in regard what a that. freaking idiot. What a dude. fucking guys, moron. Relax. What a, I had other what stuff a to offer. Whore. What a stupid she's, idiot. I, Can you imagine I, what I kind of slut you have to be? <laughs> Wait, no. To <laughs> fuck up. She's big, not promiscuous fat. at but all. That's what you're saying, right? Is not that at she's all. a whore? And I didn't say the whore word at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was yeah. saying she's a very I good person. I misinterpreted. I was just trying to be boys. Yeah. Does she have rose before that dumb bitch? No, no, no. I have no. I have no ill will towards her whatsoever. What was her last name again? Not saying it. At no. all, <laughs> what a cunt! <laughs> uh, Just say her last name. That way, people can't find her. It was it was Cuntolini. She was Italian. Um, do you, uh, do, does she have a new boyfriend now? Mm -hmm. Is he in shape or is he a big boy? No, he's actually a big boy. Oh, so she's a fetishist. I don't think so. I, I think she's I think probably she reluctantly a, fucks fat men. She's a chub chaser. Maybe she is. Um, but hey, man, even at my fattest, I was getting it in. <laughs> you know, I was fucking getting it in. Oh, that's that New Orleans flavor. Yeah, dude, right I got there. that craw. I got those craw dads up in my system. <laughs> I'm going to eat I'm your pussy. I'm going to put some craw dads up in that ass. I'm going <laughs> to put little ass lobsters in your pussy, girl. Uh, how about I close my eyes? I just talk to the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait. 
Uh, yeah, man. Fuck. Fuck. First of all, though, fuck crawfish. Crawfish can suck my you know, fucking they, heart. You know, I was telling somebody they're that the literally other day. shit. The problem is, is that they're so red. They look like they're going to be better than they are. Yeah, yes. they look delicious. And then they're just kind of whatever. Well, mm-hmm. they're so little. Yeah. You crack that shit open, there's barely any fuck. It's the Adam's dick of meat. Yeah. With very why? little. Adam's dick is made out of vegetables. Very little and tastes bad. His tofu ass dick. <laughs> My man got a little tofu dick. Honestly, I had a vegan sausage uh, like a week ago, good. and it was really good, and yeah. I'm mad that it was good. Yeah, I had one too. It was actually, really good. Recently. It's better than vegan vegetarian chorizo. shit. Yeah, it is. I don't know what the fuck they do, man. It was made of like potatoes and shit. It was tasty. Yeah. Um, yeah, fuck crawdads. I'm trying to go get crabs, boys. We got to throw that on did the books. Did you get any po' boy action going Yeah, on? I did. I had a fucking fat ass shrimp. I fucking love po' boys. Shrimp and catfish po' boy. Oh, you didn't get an uh, oyster on there? Nah. I like it with the oysters. I love a fried oyster, but a po' boy is better with shrimp and catfish, you in my scrimp. opinion. Yeah, catfish sucks always. Catfish is never good, but It's a bottom good. feeder. Unbelievable. Uh, that's so false. It's a shit it's, eater. It's literally the worst fucking fish. I but agree. you put in a nice little fucking batter, it's yeah, nice and flaky. Yeah, but you could just fry a better fish. No one does. That's not an option. You know what fish it's fried, fried tilapia? Catfish fried tilapia I was about to tacos. say tilapia sucks too. Tilapia, tilapia does is suck. worse than catfish. Tilapia is no, like the tilapia fish. Tilapia sucks. Tilapia but, sucks but my it's, dick. But it's better than catfish. No. Tilapia is like the I just catfish graduated is, college and I'm gonna start eating fish and stuff. What yeah, the it's fuck like the, does I, that even mean? Yeah, it's like the I'm I'm an adult now. I'm gonna eat fish. What but the it's fuck like, are you talking? It's a about? piece of shit. You try and eat healthy. No, you, you know what? Yeah, you, yeah. This is something you did. <laughs> no, you got into tilapia last year. <laughs> no, yeah, I reluctantly like, have to agree with Adam here. I know what he's talking about. I'm a salmon man. All my dumbass friends from college when they fucking yeah, when you buy, try like, to step it up, buy like the second best version here of IKEA furniture. Fish is ranked. Yeah. Okay. All right. When you still have a futon as a couch. Yeah. You know, salmon number one. Salmon's up top. Better than everything. No, else. sea bass number one <clears throat> for me. Uh, for trout me. after Chilean salmon. sea bass number one. No, black salmon cod one. incredible. No, these are like those are fancy fishes. I'm talking about shit. You the go workman's just get fish. It. You just get it at the grocery store. Well, I go for salmon. For yeah. Yeah. Salmon, yeah. of course. Uh, salmon, trout. Broil that bitch. Trout's dude. great. And trout's good. And then uh, and then probably mahi mahi, then tilapia, then catfish. What about flounder? Flounder's in between. The, uh, the last three I mentioned. And I would agree with that. Two. I had a real big flounder phase as a child. I was eating, like, I demanded a fried flounder, like, for every day. I needed it for, like, four months of my life. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't that know, fuck? man. <laughs> Mom, I demand flounder. I must have flounder. <laughs> I must have a flounder filet. Uh, it was fried. But you know what got me off it? When my mom tricked me by what, not being hospitalized, me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. childhood rehab, diabetes, <laughs> in, inpatient rehab hypertension is, at seven yeah. years old, <laughs> yeah. um, dialysis is that what got you off? <laughs> <laughs> no, my mom told me the fucking little fish from um, Little Mermaid was, was a, a flounder. flounder, yeah, and I fucked with that boy. That was my guy. Wait, what do you mean your mom told you his name was Flounder? His name was Flounder. I don't know. She made it clear to me. You know, <laughs> you just did. <laughs> I missed it. What do you want from me? I'm just. I'm telling you she she was tired of me eating flounder so she like really made me feel bad about eating my friend flounder who i loved i don't really fuck with she was the chubby you one. fuck with swordfish swordfish is all right i don't really fuck tuna with it. steaks can be okay too yeah well yeah yeah, yeah. tuna actually is up there with salmon tuna for steak me. is yeah tuna it's steak is salmon. real good tuna steak is amazing it's under salmon though the well, shit you tuna, get at grocery no, stores tuna the is problem with mahi tuna, mahi is tuna is it yeah, I believe no, so. No, it's white. No, no, it's Tuna's not. like a pink fish. Oh, fuck. You guys never there get... be white tuna. You mm-hmm. never... You motherfuckers ever fuck with orange roughy? What's, what's the white tuna? Is that albacore? Albacore. Albacore. Yeah. You guys ever fuck with Mahi orange not ruffy? tuna? No, it's not. Have you ever had an orange roughy? Yeah, Shit I've is had delicious. That. Shit is good as hell, dude. You know what's good? But it's very... Apparently, we're overfishing them. They look ugly as shit, and it takes them like 30 years to fuck. I can't wait until we can just eat Japanese people. (laughs) There's no... Until Japanese people eat all the fish, and we just get to... Or you know what? Koreans first. (laughs) That's the solution to fucking eat people. How fucking badass would it be? It would not be. How badass would it be if if Kim Jong-un starts... uh, 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 You know, testing more nukes, and instead of nuking him like he expects... We just start fucking eating Korean people. That would okay. I see what you're saying. That that's would be badass. that's. What a, if Korean people really, were the most delicious? A meat? new type of warfare. I'm intensely against that idea. I'm intensely against eating humans and cannibalism in general. I'm not. However, I guess that's just the African warlord in me. 
<laughs> Listen, you just that th- is you have just to absorb my persuasion. Their power. <laughs> you have to understand that this is because of my upbringing in uh, the jungle. <laughs> Well, the food was scarce, but the enemies were not. <laughs> That's what everyone remembers about Idi Amin, is that he was eating people. Yeah, Well, a lot of them he ate was? people. Yeah. You think human tastes good? No, nah, yeah. Probably tastes fucked up. Did, Baby uh, and tough. Uh, 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 Maybe you babies. might. Didn't Mugabe <laughs> eat people? So did Kofi Annan. <laughs> Kofi Kofi Annan. <laughs> good luck, Jonathan. Yeah. Um, Kofi Annan did. Yeah, the guy that's playing yeah. the black. Akon. How about, how about, a, how about an Akon, African? That's how his voice an is. An African like that. journalist <laughs> named uh, Good Night and Good Luck, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, <clears throat> Convict. Music, music. Or a and fat, you know about a we fat, are from a fat Nigerian president named Good Humor Jonathan. <laughs> Stav, you can play him. We're gonna put you in Black Belly. <laughs> Is Black Belly racist? Of course. No, it's not. I've only heard face. Yeah, the face yeah. is the only racist way to do well, it. Well, I was always, you know, anytime you watch like a bodybuilding competition. <laughs> yeah, that's black it's, body. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> Literally just It's black almost body. Like, like they're like, the I, I'm not punching you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. touching you. Black Quit face. hitting yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not touching you. That's fucking I'm hilarious. I'm getting as close as I can get to doing blackface without actually doing it. Yeah, it. Why do they do it for definition to fucking? Yeah, I guess it makes your you know the shadows are oil like, you up your nicely. Shit, yeah. yeah. Your father has to oil you up before yeah. Lou Ferrigno. Oh, Lou, Lou, Louis, you look beautiful. <laughs> You're the best there ever was, Lou. You, you look like Adonis. some Michelangelo with a skull. <laughs> Michelangelo, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Louis, you're the best there was, kid. Let's become bodybuilders. How about uh, you become. could be you could be fun? Lou Ferragno. Aloof for, for ragged fag. now. Are you yeah, trying to say fag? Fag, fag something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Lou Adams, Adams Jew for Rigno. Jew for Rigno. Very good. I'm cool for Rigno. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'm I'm cool for rich. No Hose. need for my friends anymore. I'm goo. Fuck. So are we getting Fuck. together, I'm, I'm the nothing. three of us, and uh, ordering the um. Mayweather. I'm gonna be in fucking Greece. McGregor. You know how mad I am about that. We that have looks to. Awesome. We dude. have to cheer on McGregor for Isn't defending. Isn't Mayweather the just gonna beat him immediately? Yeah. Well, not immediately. It's gonna be a boring fight, probably. Yeah. It's gonna, he's yeah. a great technical fighter. He's like a tap, 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 tap guy. He like follows he might, the rules. He, he the might best. fuck him up immediately. Well, it's a boxing match. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It would be like if fucking Did you see the Dale video? Earnhardt was like, I'm I'm a better driver Formula than One fucking, guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Michael gonna, Schumacher. Mm-hmm. Well, not even a Formula One guy. I was going to say, just put him in the ring with Floyd Mayweather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I can beat the wall, I can beat money. I told but you Dale, guys. you didn't beat the wall. I told you guys I was at Redbox at McDonald's and I met Floyd Mayweather. No. In Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. He was at a Redbox? He was at going into McDonald's, but there was a red box in the McDonald's by my That's parents' house. That's incredible to be that And there was rich. like a yellow Lamborghini that pulls up and then these two like like pretty fat butted uh, like Puerto Rican mm. or Dominican girls like come at, hop out and then this just five foot five man yeah. and it was right after the Ricky Hatton fight oh he fucked Hatton up and he fucked Hatton up and yeah. I guess I was like yeah it was after like sophomore year of college I was yeah, home yeah, for like yeah. spring break or winter break and then I said, "What that up was to a big him. fight." Yeah, he's a great person. That's the thing about that's Floyd. the thing about he's yeah. a humanitarian. Floyd, he's a really you know, good guy, good husband, good father. Yeah, oh, great yeah. father. Yeah. yeah, it sucks because it's like he's such a fucking piece of shit. He's like he should be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Connor is like is he seems like a piece of shit, but he just seems like a troll. I don't know. It sucks. No, because Connor is cool, dude. Connor, I fuck with Connor. Connor but was like, like a plumber three years ago. No, no, no. Listen, I fuck with Connor, yeah. but like, what does but that his, have to do with anything? Every plumber I've ever met ever met is a piece of shit. No, he like he likes like a rags to riches story. He's like a rags to exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. He found success in this new and he sport beats by, everyone by and fucking that's cool. fighting. Yeah, but yeah. he did tell him to dance and called him a boy. Yeah, and then he yeah. said, that's but fucked. then he's like, actually, the race stuff didn't really hit. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. He's like a comic yeah, more yeah, than yeah. anything. Well, he's well, a performer. That's when it's all been roast battling. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, so good at roasting him. The funniest was what he was like. uh He's like, why are you wearing a backpack and a and a hat? You're wearing a school bag and a hat. You look like a fifteen year old break dancer. <laughs> he's like, why are you wear why are you wearing a school bag? You can't even read. Yeah, he yeah, gets so him good. good. Yeah, they should just let Great Joe singers. Robinson make fun of both of them. 
But then nah, did you did you hear what Floyd would be better roasting? Floyd like got really pissed off and then was just like you're a fag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's, it's actually the whole tour with the roast battle around the world has actually turned me off of the whole thing. Completely. No, it hasn't. Listen no, to the hasn't. fucking yeah. energy and it's, verve it's, you're it's, speaking no, about. It's this gross, with. Yeah, dude. It's, you ver- it's you brought good. it up. You, and you're talking about it with a big ass smile on your face. Right. You 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 don't <laughs> want to enjoy. You don't it want because, to admit that you like it. Right. Because you got to be cool. Things. And I don't think it's a good bit to say to say the f word. Of course. I think that's, that's a bad yes. bit. Yeah. But Connor's funny, except for the racist shit. They should get like Louis J or Lisa Lampanelli to write for them. You know, Connor's a better roast get. battler than most roast battlers. He is. He is. Yeah. He's not bad. He's, he's so much bad. better. Natural Dude, talent. Yeah. If you just look at like him. At every every press conference he's ever done, he's always funnier than everyone else. And he for the mo- he's beaten everyone, and he's only had like a tough fight with the Diaz. Brothers. Well, you saw that video that he released of him like in training, and he looks like shit. Yeah, he's, he's gonna so lose. Slow. He's just yeah. getting a ca- he's just cashing in. Yeah, I would get my shit split for a hundred mil. Who cares? Is that how yeah. much he's making? He's making a ton. I don't know what it is. I, I think Floyd's probably making more. Of course. I mean, the best. I mean, just revisiting it, the best is. Is uh, when Fifty you, Adam, Cent was going out. Would you suck a guy's foot. dick for a hundred million dollars? A hundred percent, a hundred million dollars. Yes. Yeah, you're just gonna have to give him a little time to come up with the money. <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, I, do you, you misinterpreted the question? I was saying, would you pay a hundred million dollars to suck a guy's? Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's what, what I said. <laughs> you stole Stop's bit. That's a steal. That's a th- that joke. It's not that's, a not a, that's not a you stole it. That's a thief. No. I'm sticking up for you. We kind of were on the same page. Clarifying. No, nah, no, yeah. I would not pay a hundred million dollars. Well, you already said yes. Yep, well, you're fine. on record. I would pay a hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. What is it? You know what I was like? thinking about the other day, boys. You remember when FedEx was Federal Express? Yeah, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do they get to name themselves that? They're Never not mind. federal at all. <laughs> <laughs> They're private. The yeah. Private Express. That's, I think that's why they had to change the name. Oh, uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. <clears throat> like uh, my old company, American Government Mortgage. <laughs> you remember uh, the company I telemarketed for? U.S. Federal People's Government Drugs, mortgages. folks. Huh? Remember People's Drugs it became CVS. Really? Oh, uh, did it? Yep. I don't remember that. Oh yeah, Crown Books. What were they? What are they now? I don't know. Borders, you remember Borders? Oh, I do remember Borders. It went out of business. We had Long's drugs, but they were bought by CVS. Yeah, mm. they bought all the. Dwayne Reed is now Walgreens, or what? You know, a lot of stuff going on, guys. A wow. lot of companies used to be other companies. That yeah, is crazy. <laughs> what about uh, fuck? Hmm. There was a company. Uh, there was a place I used to shop at East Point. But I don't remember what it was called. Shoe City, my city. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, There's a place I used to shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. What about Hex, huh? Hex. Hex. Is remember there, Hex? You know, Hex yeah. is a big one. But it's not. That's not the one I'm thinking of. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Hex was good. Yeah, you got J.C. Penny. They're still still in kicking, baby. Mm-hmm. Macy's. That's a story. The original. Yeah. <clears throat> the fucking original. Oh, I love boy. to go down to the the flagship macaroni grill. You ever hear of such a place? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, who's grilling macaroni? Who's grilling macaroni? Yeah, whoa. Well, it's just they let you know they got options. They mm. let you draw on the table there. I think. That's the fun part of macaroni I grill. Know, I brought my own sharpie last time I went. So oh, they don't stop you. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> I went to a fucking fancy restaurant. Well, not fancy, but this fucking great restaurant. Uh, Shia Who needs to come back. Restaurants where they have have like anamorphic displays. You know, are you thinking of like a jungle kind of rainforest Rainforest cafe, Cafe, Bugaboo Creek sort of thing? I I asked my parents to go there for my birthday one year. Rainforest Cafe. I remember going there. Rainforest Cafe had a gorilla that would pound its chest at you. Nice. It had like rainforest noises playing in the background. Yeah, as you ate, dude. I I can't can't imagine the food was any good. No, it sucked. I remember I remember I wanted to go my whole childhood and then when I was like 16 we went for like it was a in the Inner Harbor? friends. No, no. It was in Towson Mall, I think. Oh. And or some mall. And when I was 16 we went for like a family friends like birthday and I what just got all there. all your childhood aspirations are like eat a piece of fish every day. <laughs> <laughs> some stupid restaurant. The, I'm a simple boy, dude. You know, I wanted to go. <laughs> you fucking fat fuck. <laughs> I, I thought, got there. It sucked. <laughs> I thought you were like swinging from the vines and shit with yeah, gorillas. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was so fucking dumb. I thought it was like a full immersive. You eat in like a little tree hut. 
Mm. And it was it was just a regular restaurant, dude. It yeah, was a big disappointment. A yeah. It's like that Simpsons where uh, Germans take over the power plant. They say, uh, well, Mr. Simpson, after all, we are from the land of chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. said, like, <laughs> montage where he's going around Eating the land everything. of chocolate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You were saying something about chocolate? Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, that's I used to you. think... Uh, that's you. I, I admit Hollywood that's me. Cool. I don't take that as, a, that as an insult at all. I think it as a compliment. Thank Did you, you ever go to you know, Planet Hollywood? board game is bullshit. No, Candyland. I wanted to. Candy yeah, Land is so sucks, easy. You just roll the dice and then move. Yeah, yeah it sucks. <laughs> How the fuck is that a successful... It's for dumbass kids. Can you imagine kids. being the guy that came up with that shit? Well, you could play it at like two. Yeah. yeah that's the reason why it's, you know, successful. But that guy, that guy's a genius. Yeah, he is. He's the, everybody... The, imagine the, the Monopoly guy who came up with Monopoly is like... So many rules. You know, fucking poor... He's gone through two marriages. Yep. His wife is like, Richard, you have to stop making this game. No one will ever play it. Hotels, houses, utilities. This sounds awful. Who will ever finish this game? And no one. No is one the does. answer, actually. I didn't know how and to then play. some guy's like, oh, yeah, you just roll the dice and then you move. And there's some little dick-ass fucking yeah, fat jo- jelly bean licorice guy. Licorice queer. Yeah. <laughs> LGB uh, licorice. Licorice. B- uh, gummies. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Fuck, Lick, uh, licorice gummies, ba- gummy, gummy bears, bears. gummy yeah. bears, GB. LG, oh yeah, licorice gummy bear trannies. <laughs> 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 but um, it's a type of candy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, we're not. Nick wouldn't say a slur. It's a, it's a nougat. It's a kind of nougat. Yeah. How about uh, that that game? Sorry. Mm-hmm. Yep. You say a slur and then you apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood how to play sorry. I think you just fuck your friends over and that's why the sorry like you just Was sorry the one with like the little thing you pop? Yeah, it's in the got middle? a pop thing in the Yeah, middle. yeah. I yeah. never played like Yahtzee a dice with Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Yahtzee's fun as shit. Yahtzee's dude. like seventeen dice, right? It's yeah. like a bunch Yahtzee's, of dice. Yahtzee's, yeah, no, it's it's like poker, but you play with dice. Yeah, that's right. Oh, nice. It's like you Five have to dice. assemble hands and then you score the hands. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. in. That's cool. Yeah, we weren't a big board game family. No one understood what the fuck was happening. Recently we Monopoly. had Monopoly, but we never finished it. Monopoly takes a Monopoly is a Greek word. I bet your family was proud of that game. Mono Monopoly. Yeah. Mm. One one town. Mono one poly city or town. So I thought it meant many. No. Mono. So one. what's a what's a a poly poly. Polopoly. Polopoly, yeah. Yeah. Let's start Polopoly. And it's a game where you fuck everyone because you're poly. It's a town of other people to fuck. Do you know polyamorous. that polyamorous uh, polyamorous is that that means many. That doesn't mean you fuck towns. Yeah. Po- you don't yeah, even know your own language. No, I know. It was a joke I was making. You I said that, many towns would be polyopoly. I yeah. do speak. What are you no, talking about? Everyone knows you don't speak Greek. Dude. I can speak Greek. I speak the you Greek. Speak like what a, happens is food gets caught in your mouth and you start speaking. I'll say whatever you fucking piece <laughs> you of pretend, shit want. You pretend it's another language. <laughs> you speak like a street Greek. No, yeah. I don't, bitch. First of all, yeah. you don't know any languages. Neither you dumb motherfuckers do. I do. And he I know do. Chinese. You, you you sound Chinese very well. I'll give you that. But what, you don't know what Chinese. What was your Dao <laughs> What did you just say? I know Chinese. Xero Linika. How about that, bitch? The, I know Greek. Next. Cool. Anything else? Oh, Adam in a pustis. Adam is a slur for a homosexual yeah. man. <laughs> uh, ad, ad, Adam GG. Uh, oh, Nico says ad, Adam GG. Hen, Henlo. No, wait. Adam G, Adam G G, uh, Adam G G, shit. Hen. Fuck. What is small? Thagamisha to papu to Adam. I'm gonna fuck Adam's grandfather. Wo Yao Ho's Zaibutong area codes. <laughs> How about this? If a uh, if a Greek listener is listening, just just send us a message. Tell us how you think Stop's doing. Bitch, I, I was just I have a feeling. What do you just? I just said I'd fuck your grandfather. I have a feeling that you just made that up, dude. I know Farsi too. You know Farsi? Yeah. I ate your mom's pussy. I will eat your mom's pussy. Because huh? that means pussy stretcher in Farsi. My parents That's used good. to speak like pimp. No. Nice. Used to speak uh, <laughs> yeah. Kuskesh and Gandigus. Gandigus is like the smell of a fart. Nice. So you call us, that's like Did you insult. have Persian friends growing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Iranian friends. So I was like, Do they just have black... teach me the important ones. Do they have black BMW? 
Um, no, I don't think so. A lot of Persian people they had, a, know, they had, had a, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Oh, and oh, I worked nice. with two Persian guys, and neither of them had BMWs. Oh, okay. Maybe it's LA Persian thing. Probably. Um, uh, what's Persians it with what's what's it with the rugs? Is that the last thing you're allowed to call Oriental? Uh, ru- no, 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 you can call them. you can call Chinese people Oriental. <laughs> <laughs> They're from the Orient. Yeah. It's not talking about Asian I people. Agree. Did you hear uh, that? Apparently, you're not. You're not supposed yeah, to call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the fucking uh, Oriental anymore. Uh, Mike Francesca thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that rocked. Yeah. He's like, right, well, yo, nobody knows that. I, I'm, I'm just repeating what I saw on the racial on MSNBC. <laughs> MSNBC <laughs> called him chinks, and so I said it too. And so now I'm watching I'm, a report on MSNBC. <laughs> Rachel Maddow said uh, that there's a Supreme Rachel Court Maddow case. Rachel Maddow said chink, she's got a chink email. There's a chink uh, band right called the Slants, and that's why. <laughs> Wait, it's, really? Uh, listen, this is what I heard. Yeah. It's a I don't chink know. band. Apparently, a slant is a, a slur towards the chinks, which you're allowed to say, <laughs> because I saw Lester Holt said it to me personally. I'm <laughs> receiving word. I was calling. I was like, so what are you? What are you? What are you? Like a... Like a like mixed or something? Are you uh, are you an Oriental? And he goes, you can't call me that. You have to call me Chink. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. <laughs> anyway, so I'm receiving word uh, that you cannot call them Celestials. <laughs> on a radio program, my my producer is in my ear right now. Celestials, look, I learned how to speak <laughs> on the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> That's why I was born and raised <laughs> in the exit next to Elizabeth, New Jersey, in a place where truckers commit hate crimes against each other's <laughs> genitals. God, I love sports radio, dude. Is it Chris is- Christie going to be a sports radio host? Is he? That's what they. That's you know, what- the biggest piece of shit thing about him is that he's a Cowboys fan. He's a dude from New Jersey that's a Cowboys Chris Christ, fan. The governor of fucking it's Jersey. Because of Roy Rogers, dude. They have two football teams. <laughs> He's really teams. into those curly fries. <laughs> and it led him down a dark path. <laughs> it's because of fucking... Uh, is it, isn't Troy Aikman, dude? Isn't he the Wingstop guy now? Is he? Is he? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Rick Ross owns a bunch of Wingstop. No, Troy Aikman's like the... Yeah, he's the Wingstop spokesman. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's great because he does the commercials. And I remember there's one of them. He's like, hi, I'm Troy Aikman. You might remember me as the Wingstop spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> He's like so concussed. <laughs> he doesn't remember. His I think he had something like twenty concussions. Yeah, he yeah. got his shit. He had to retire because of concussions, off, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing he can speak. It's he's amazing good. that he's he good, can. He's a good guy. He's it's a amazing good, uh, that he could be gay with Joe Buck. Color guy. Yeah, yeah. Like he Skip, should with that many that many concussions. Skip called Skip him gay. Skip called him gay in, yeah, his book. in his book. Yeah, Skip's a piece of shit. Man. <laughs> we gotta um, order this pizza soon, boys. We do. <sighs> no pizza uh, for me. I gotta be a paleo warrior after this. I could do that. Yeah, I got John Wick too. Which Fuck. I will review on the next. I don't episode. like that scene, the industrial rock scene. Like, wait, where did you see John Wick two already? I did. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it. I saw it recently. Uh, well then, uh, not as we'll, good as John Wick, one, but pretty. Uh, cool. Fuck. We'll watch one of the other shit. movies I've purchased. What else we got? I don't know. The Revenant. Ooh, not nice. a very good movie, but it looks good. Nice and short. Y- yeah, Revenant. I still have to see the second half of Revenant. It's um, so fucking long. You know what pissed me off about Re- Revenant? Yeah, go off. He had boogers in his beard the whole time. It's just wipe your face. I know you're in the in just the. Just why don't you just wipe? Just your wipe face. your face. Just wipe your face. He got He's in pain. In your beard. He's got fucking. He doesn't even just feel the boogers. Wipe your face. He got the probably frozen. Your face. He doesn't feel it. He's got his fucking I entrails the boogers, are hanging out. The boogers bugged me. A, a fucking bear. Ca- I got couldn't his pay ass. attention to that whole movie because he had boogers. On his face. That's the stupidest fucking. <laughs> wipe your face, Leo. That's the stupidest fucking. I you know got that, did, I just the shallows read, and life. Those came free with the. Uh, oh, life, the, the, the one with Martin the documentary? Lawrence and Eddie Eddie Murphy. No, I <laughs> yeah. love that movie. I yeah, love I got all movie. the Eddie Murphy movies. Um, oh, yeah. You're going he, Bowfinger. Doesn't he fuck like the worst? Bowfinger white is a hilarious movie, huh? I like Bowfinger. I like so Bowfinger funny. Too. The scene where he's running across the fucking highway. Really freeway. good. So, so good. I think it's a really good movie. And Chubby then Heather Graham. Isn't Heather Graham in it? So fun. And she like... She's a tent. Guys, you gotta do more jokes on the show. Okay. We can't... The bit can't always be that we're just that saying That a movie's things. good. I... I you know, Okay, here's... It's here, funny here when we, we do it with stores... And we named stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, we that get, was funny for a second. You're right. We get three of those but an episode. We can't I think let we've done Adam like six. continue to dictate the conversation. I agree. Just I agree. Oh, you know what happened to me in New Orleans? I went to like a I went to like a lube jockstrap wrestling 
thing, like with the drag queens hosted and shit. And, uh, you know, it's supposed to be like a, a fun lube time. jock strap wrestling. What the thing. fuck is that? There's people, there's fucking people. It's right there in the other. name, Adam. What do you mean? What is that? Is it, it was fun. Is it hot chicks? There was chicks and dudes. Oh, yeah. It was a nice mix. Mm. Um,. Uh, it what I didn't think it was going to be a gay event for some reason, and it clearly is though. Yeah. Well, uh, well, pretty much all events are gay. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Anything that's been planned ahead yeah, of time yeah, yeah, is yeah. a gay mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, I'll tell you what real men do. Yeah, just go. You know, they go talk about stores. That, hey, they go somewhere. We yeah. fucking say a thing to each other. <laughs> do a couple of racial slurs over here. Mm-hmm. Um, all people Oriental. That's right, my friend. Because you don't know any better. Oh, that was we forgot about that heat. We threw a lot of a lot of Oriental we just, around. We were just quoting yeah, we were Mike quoting Francesca. Rachel yeah. Maddow. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, who, right. who was right. quoting? Yeah, yeah. Who, claimed, <laughs> who claimed that he was quoting MSNBC? <laughs> <laughs> I heard um, it in the report on MSNBC. But uh, so this guy, this 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 dude in front of me, this like little guy with, in front of me, with like a beard and shit, kept uh, kept trying to grab my cock. He kept being, he kept being like, he kept trying to jerk me off over my pants. He was like, "Come to my house," and I was like, uh, "No thanks, man. I'm all set." You know, which felt nice, you all know, set. to be sexually. Dude, not me. I would have fucking flipped out and beaten him to death. Really, to right death. there in the middle, middle of that place, middle of a gay I would cabaret. Have blacked out, gone into a. A very defensive, insecure rage, <laughs> and just beating that man into a bloody mess for Crying, almost unlocking your secret screaming desires. Screaming at the top of my lungs, <laughs> like you know, uh, what's just his a name? completely normal reaction <laughs> to such a situation. Uh, anyway, so he he uh, eventually stopped. He wasn't too happy. But then uh, he was being kind of a dick to me. But then he just saw a different fat guy and he started jerking him off in the bar. In the thing? <laughs> just in the middle of the bar, dude. Like right in front of me. I just looked at some fat guy get the hand job that was supposed to be for me. And then they just went to like. <laughs> it was supposed to be for me. <laughs> yeah. the, the hand That's job rude. That like when that. somebody fucking plays a slot machine after you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just like disappeared into like a room, I guess, and fucked. But there weren't that many rooms. There was like a courtyard out back. So I don't know. He probably got a stick dude, sucked. New Orleans rules. It was awesome, dude. What a great city. I yeah, love that a fucking great place. I, I was getting you off my back. plane this morning, and you know how like everybody pulls their phone out, and it's just like they first have service again. So yeah, they pull out. You do that thing where you look at everyone else's phone and yeah. peek into their lives, and mm-hmm. you know pretend you're somebody else. Of mm-hmm. course. And there was we this fucking that. old man sitting in front of me, like this old ass dude. And he pulls his phone out, and the first thing he checks is the Dilbert newsletter. (laughs) 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 Woo! (laughs) Goes right to the Dilbert newsletter and checks the new Dilbert. That fucking rocks. Wait, it's not like Scott Adams doing like politics. No, it was like here's the new Dilbert Dilbert news. (laughs) Here's the new Dilbert for today. (laughs) Hell yeah! You missed while you were in the air, dude. I love the way old guys use their phone or old people like what they prioritize. My fucking uh, Godfather and right. when that's a whole screen is like zoomed nine thousand percent. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. dude. I went to my fucking Godfather Greece. He still had a flip phone. I went two years ago. He had four pictures on his phone. Uh, two were fish he caught. One were like his bees. He's a beekeeper, and the third was a grainy ass zoomed in illegally taken yeah. photo of two women with their tits out on the beach. <laughs> and he was just like, eh, my, 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 my grandpa's computer is the funniest shit in the world. It's like, first of all, the start button is like half the screen, yeah. <laughs> and then the rest of it is all these overlapping icons because he doesn't know how to use his desktop. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he uses. Walmart connect to dial up internet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That still exists? You yeah, yeah, can yeah. still get that? He has Walmart. Before that, he had Errol's video internet. Oh, I remember Errol's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he still had until like 2011. <laughs> they went out of business in like 1997 and he somehow still had what, arrows. What was that shit? It was like for farms. It was like satellite internet or some shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. They well, I, they still have those. There's mm. like all these weird. I used to work in a call center, and like the better you got at your job, they would just add you to other companies. Mm. Um, and the, but like. Uh, they didn't tell you they were going to add you to those companies, so you would just get a call, and the the screen would say like VSOL, like internet services. Mm-hmm. Be like, uh, thanks for calling. 
VSOL internet <laughs> services technical support. How may I help you? They're like, yeah, uh, I'm I'm out here in uh, in uh, Katy, and I have the satellite uh, uh, adjusted according to what it says in the manual, <laughs> but I'm not getting any uh, downstream on 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 the coaxial <laughs> connection. I'm like, I don't fucking yeah, know what yeah, you're talking yeah. about, dude. Sorry. Yeah. You know, click. Of course. You just say click, and then people think you hung up. Click. Because you have no ability to actually hang up on them. Really? No, that's not true. You can't. Oh. <laughs> dude, that job sucks so much. There was this fucking guy <laughs> that me and Norman knew that worked there mm -hmm. that uh, I wasn't really friends with him or anything, but he started working from home. And then he, eventually he got fired from the job. And I was like, well, how did you get fired? And he was like, oh, well, I would log in in the morning and then just, like, leave. <laughs> and he did that for, like, six months. Hell, yeah. His phone would just ring and he just would never pick it up. Oh, that's <laughs> it took, awesome. It took them six. They, he just collected a paycheck. Good for him. Yeah, getting, like, $700 Damn. over two weeks to just do nothing. That's, I mean, I sort of did that at the fucking law firm I worked for, but nothing to that extreme degree yeah you just were just literally closing on people's homes and i was not i was uh actually kind of like robin hood i was a stumbling block you in stole the process. people's homes no what? i just didn't help the rich by being a horrible employee that's what i did that's cool i didn't do anything it's it was just all of your pants look like tights <clears throat> so you're huh? like robin hood yeah, yeah, I was Robin because I made fucking business pants look like fucking a leotard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that was the fucking why, lowest why, point yeah. of my life. Why are you wearing yoga pants? Like, that's a these, dress. These He's are dockers. Wearing... <laughs> He's under a blanket. He's <laughs> inside of a vehicle. I yeah, I just tied two Snuggies together. That was the only thing I could fit into at that point in my life. <laughs> why are you wearing such tight clothes? He's literally inside of a bus. <laughs> He's riding around in a bus. My stomach coming out of the fucking window. <laughs> yeah, it looks like somebody dropped a Grand's roll. <laughs> oh fuck! You were never fat in your life, huh, Adam? Middle school, I was chubby, but nah. like, like a bit, like I nah. belly chub. Get out of here! Have but you ever no, felt your stomach on your legs while you shit? No. That's a fat. That's a fat guy. No, feeling, I come dude. from a skinny family. Like yeah. my dad just got a belly at like sixty. Yeah, I did. I did too. Yeah. All my family, I just like had to go to this wedding. Everyone in my family is like in great shape. They're all tall as shit. And fucking <laughs> yeah, they all just love going to the beach. <laughs> I love you. Don't like you don't got to be tall to go to the beach, baby. I love that's the beach. right, dude. We we got to start going. Which dude. I am tall though. I went to the beach a bunch while you guys were out. Of no, time. I mean they're like you know. No, I know. Uh, actually, saying. a lot of them are, are like kind of fat now, but that's because none of them have ever. I don't think they do, and none of them exercise. Right, right, they're right. They're always just in shape. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. There's people that are like, they get to just be in shape until they're like 37. Right. And then they yeah. get a bit of a paunch, and they don't know what to do about it. Yeah. Those pe oh, there was this fucking asshole, this old Greek guy, who was like, would brag about, he's like, still wearing the same jeans from high school, mm -hmm. 32, and there was just an enormous, just circular <laughs> pot belly right oh, yeah. above his waist, and it's like, you're going to die, dude. <laughs> That's worse than being like, just a little fatter oh, than yeah, you were that, in high like, school. like, alcoholic gut that yeah, people yeah, get. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, yeah, I'm still svelte. Yeah. It's like, no, you've been drinking fucking Johnny Walker and oh, my, getting the all John of your, Wayne. all of your calories from plastic bottle dark liquor <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for the last 30 years and just hamburger if meats. you go out yeah. to brighton beach there's those russian guys that have that those exact proportions that just go out every day and tan and they're like at this point like they look like grimace they're all purple because yeah, they're yeah, so yeah, fucking yeah, tan yeah, yeah i was there with my friend a couple weeks ago and he just kept saying they're the worst kind of white they're the worst <laughs> kind of <laughs> white what tan <laughs> No, no, the Closer Russians. Closer to not being yeah. white. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that right there, that is the worst kind of white. No. <laughs> when you're far, you're not white enough. You gotta be lighter than that. The way I like it. Man, I'm trying to get They're so They're hilarious, tan. dude. We gotta go down to Brighton Beach. I'm it's down. like a different country. To Next what? Week? Disrespect Russian people? That no, to like go hang idea. out, dude. Go I can't wait until you get fucking murked to just... G giggling like a fucking little I fairy. I was not giggling. We, it started <laughs> some raining. Eastern promises, dude. He <laughs> yeah, just yeah. cuts out of you. Adam well, no, we should. No, at face. the Schwitz, <laughs> at the Schwitz in the East Village, there's like mad Eastern promise tattoo dudes down yeah. there, and they're fucking like, dude, Adam, jacked and scary. We gotta, we gotta get those. We, well, we already talked about it in the other one, but we gotta get those prison bitch tattoos for you. The Russian prison bitch tattoos. Yeah, I mean, yes. you get nautical stars. You already dude. have. You already have. No, you don't get the nautical stars. You get why? The cat that eyes means I'm a 
Cat what Eyes. Oh, yeah, what's Cat Eyes again? That means, well, they, they what they do. Cat I, eyes I guess means I, didn't like, ex- I see everything. You didn't tell me. I didn't yeah. explain it on the last one. They put they put eyes over the guy's lower back, so when he gets fucked in the ass in jail, it looks like a woman's face. <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like they're face fucking a woman. <laughs> yeah, a, a woman with a with a, a, a twenty two inch wide face. That's cool. very big cheeks on that woman. <laughs> but that's funny, that's dude. Adam's role. I don't think it's funny. They stole our election, guys. That's so true, man. Yeah, it's yeah, so dude. true. There's f- um, anyway, but yeah, uh, and they keep finding more and more Russians. Mm-hmm. Did you yeah. see this? Did you see that Donald Trump had a secret meeting with Vladimir Putin at G20? Yeah, off there's no the record of of this meeting. I, I I can only imagine what they talked about in that meeting. Probably uh, uh, an illegal conspiracy. Probably gay sex. Dude. Yeah, they had gay sex with each other. You know, I heard Donald Trump was uh, uh, during the Benghazi attacks having uh, gay sex. Gay sex <laughs> yeah, and cocaine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and my new d- on. democratic. Conspiracy. See the Democratic <laughs> the Democratic Party has just absolutely lost it recently yeah, yeah. with this Russia shit. Whatever. We don't have to I mean you that. did too. You kinda lost it. When? You were freaking out about it and being a little girl about you it. You did text the thread a bunch. No. I it was it was about the phishing emails, but apparently we I don't know. We don't know anything about that. There's no evidence. There's no, evi- no, there's what there's no evidence of is that anything happened because of it. Oh yeah. Well, if anything happened, the most likely thing is that some business shit with Jared. Or, yeah, but I mean, yeah, they're probably making. Yeah, they're they're fucking someone somehow to make a lot. But of it's money. not about PP and like all this stuff that these fucking Might idiot be. Democrats think. Maybe he got pissed on, man. I mean, if he you got pissed know. on, I would respect him. Yeah, I wouldn't kink shame him. I would not kink shame him. You know, for sure. I um, wouldn't kink shame him at I all. I would. Yeah. I would be upset that I voted for him if I found out. <laughs> <laughs> if I found out that he stayed in hotels in Russia and did did weird sex stuff like make prostitutes pee on a bed to disrespect Obama, mm-hmm. <laughs> is that the reasoning? He had yeah. them call him Obama while they. Peed Dude, I love that there was shit in there that was like he then he took a dump and he pulled pointed at one of the turds and he was like, "Look, that's Obama because it's brown." That one's the t- that, that was turn- in the dossier. Yeah, there was. <laughs> it was like, people were taking it seriously. Yeah, it was like clearly written by 4chan. Didn't, didn't a bunch of Russian guys get got? I don't know got, if it though. was 4chan though. And, didn't like know, a bunch people, of ambassadors get got or some shit? 4chan like lied and took credit for it, and I'm sure they did. But I'm going to propagate that lie <laughs> because it's funny to me. <laughs> it is funny if if 4chan got away with that. Didn't the guy like, that released it that, get that's got? That's really funny. I thought they killed. They, they were killing a lot of Russian diplomats for a sec. Yeah, but a lot of the times when they kill someone, it's not like exactly Putin. It's like someone trying to impress him, and then he'll take credit for it. Like, yeah, oh, yes, still, this was my plan the whole time. A lot of people what? getting got is fucked up. Yeah, man. like journalists and political opponents. And no, stuff. and like and it, people in their he government. Like, but he, their, their country is a lot more like fucked up than the Democrats or people like give them credit for. Uh, like if th- there's like a lot of these like uh, killings that are like done by people trying to like get into his inner circle, but not necessarily him. I mean, he did bomb apartment complexes. He and killed like mad Russian citizens. He did. But, Damn. Yeah. Well, someone's I mean, blamed it like, on the Chechens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that that bombing is like it's still conspiracy. I mean, it's, there's like a lot of fucking evidence that makes it seem like so, that's what the case is. So he does like a lot of little 9-11s. <laughs> he 9-11. He does the a lot little, with, little, with little the, 9-11s. With the, with the apartment bombing, it's like uh, uh, there was one building that did blow up and there's another one where the bomb didn't blow up and yep. the bomb was made out of RDX and there was like FSB radio chatter at the time and like people saw two like agents leaving and like Damn. RDX, like only the military has access oh, to Oh shit. That. So, but that like justified the second Chechen war, but it's it's not it's not like proven that he, you know, I mean, I probably personally did think it. Putin is innocent of all of these. He seems like a damn supervillain. That that he Russia got, he is, snatched up Georgia. He's probably Russia the is the only the democratic world, country. Putin is to be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> Putin God. is like likely the richest guy in the world because we don't know how much money he has. Really? It's like a, yeah, it's a clip talker. According to the Frontline documentary that me and Adam both watched. Yeah, yeah, that's literally oh, what that we're what's both going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was I think we watched it together, actually. No, I would never watch something with you. 
We watch stuff all the time. <laughs> no, I would never. Don't you I would never him, in my life. You asked her. him on the podcast to watch John Wick twenty minutes ago. <laughs> no, I said, did you see John? Wick? No, you, so you I said something him. along those lines. Or, <laughs> you said, do you want to watch John? No, Wick? I, I, I don't believe I indicated any desire to <laughs> do any such thing. And I, I, my plan was to wear my Panama hat by myself in the dark. <laughs> yeah, you are looking fresh, dude. Dude, hell yeah! No, I got that suit for that wedding, oh. and I'm glad, you know, because I. I I almost spent the eight hundred dollars on that Hugo Boss suit, and then I just paid eighty dollars at Target, and now that suit is destroyed because I I smoked three cigars before bed and then fell asleep. Oh yeah, in the you're suit. a cigar guy now, dude. No, only on vacation. Nah, you're a cigar guy. I mean, I wish you got the taste. Yeah, they call me they call me Chucky Monte Cristo. <laughs> yeah, what you me smoke? Sammy Cohiba. Oh, Cohiba, little Romeo and Julieta. Yeah. Is you that know? how you pronounce it? Romeo and Julieta. I think Romeo it's Julieta. Julieta. Romeo and Julieta. That's good, dude. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I speak Spanish, too. Uh, Garcia y Vegas. Those are nice. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have one of those? Uh, you you ever have an Al Capone cognac? You ever have a Duce Mastere? That's my favorite shit, the Al Capone cigarillos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That rocks. What kind of fucking dipshit... Uh, uh, bus station goon you have to be. What yes. kind of blunts did you guys roll be, uh, Let school? me get the Al Capone Owl. cigars. You rolled owls? What yeah, about you? Owl grape duchess. Everybody always bought duchess, but I, yeah, I never learned how to roll a blunt. We used to roll swishers. I think that was like a West yeah, Coast Yeah, swisher sweets sometimes yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was never a blunt guy. I didn't even know how to roll a joint until I was like 20. I had to like teach myself with shitty weed. I still mm-hmm. can't. I What I used to do... I rolled pretty good joints. Because I, I started rolling cigarettes. So I got good at rolling cigarettes and then... I can't roll shit. Dude. I got really fucking good at rolling I could do that while driving. Yeah. Well, I can do it while fucking your mom. Nice. You do bro. that? Yeah. I can do it, actually. I changed my mind. Remember I said I couldn't? I actually can while fucking both your moms and driving a motorcycle. Nick's mom, too? Yes. What's her name? Colette. Yeah, I don't say Colette's name on the podcast, dude. <laughs> my fucking, my, my black mom, Colette. <laughs> Colette Mullen, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Colette, I thought your mom Colette, <laughs> Colette Johnson, my middle-aged black mom. I thought your Nick, mom's... don't you be bringing none of that nonsense in here. I thought your mom's name was Miss Yvette. Yeah, yeah. the original Miss Damn She Thick. <laughs> what's, um, you, what's you talking about on that radio show? <laughs> did your family? Did you tell your family at this wedding about Cumtown? Did that come up? Uh, no, I got in trouble for some shit. I said. Oh, you should talk about your family more then. Yeah, well, I mean, my response was like, I think I literally just said to my mom, uh, unless you could tell me specifically what I said, don't bother me with this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Gaslighting your own mother. Oh, dude, I, I'm a piece of shit. I do it all the time. She was like, you said something about this or that or whatever, and like, you shouldn't fucking say things about your family in public or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, tell me what I said then. <laughs> Why don't you tell me exactly what I said? Because if you can't do that, then shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, fuck. That's one step yeah, above. Dude, I'm a Why good, were you looking at my phone? Yeah. I'm a, like, I'm a good son. And I'm definitely... My family loves to <laughs> put up with me and tolerate Happy when you're around. Distance. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, get it. They divorce. really do have to like... It, it. It is funny. I can see that they have to like just sort of... Tolerate me. the mood changes. Do they when know you walk the name the Cumtown? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, my family. What about your your have uh, no idea? My mom has ESL no idea. ass family. Oh, has no they idea. They just think you have a radio show. Did I tell you guys when I, well, no. when I went home? I went. To, I fucking. Uh, I was giving my dad a little back rub. You know, That's I could so tell. Sick I could tell can't speak English. I could tell my dad. You know, he's had a rough day. And he was like, yeah, I need to go. It was me, him, and my mom. And he was like, oh, that's a good massage. You know what kind of massage I really need? That Chinese massage where they do the good, good massage. Wow. A man after my own <laughs> and heart. Then, and then and my dad was like, have you ever gotten that good Chinese massage to me? And I was like, no. And my mom was like, yeah, right. <laughs> like my mom was convinced I'd go get beaten off by fucking sex slaves, which I don't. Only you do, Adam. But yeah, my mom, my own mother yeah. wouldn't believe I don't participate in the sex economy. That well, breaks my heart. You think your mom thinks you fuck prostitutes? No. See? The irony. I don't fuck prostitutes actively. Yeah, well. I'm very upfront and brave listen, about my experiences Adam, with sex. Adam, work. you know, you are, you just, we are the sum of our actions, my friend. You can say whatever you want, but 
your actions speak louder. Some Show don't actions, tell. Some of my actions is humanitarian. Show don't good tell. Good friend, and and overall sweetie no. pie. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's why I want to like one of these days save a baby from choking or something. Yeah, and that way I can do whatever the fuck I want because nobody can say shit to yeah, me. Yeah, you've that. earned it. Yeah, you've earned a couple of hate crimes. What's the most heroic thing you guys have done? I beat up a bully in, when I was a little kid. Was that's he bullying you or was he bullying someone else? Just building someone else. Oh, that's good. I hopped on his back, choked his ass. Oh, you just sat on him? <laughs> he was fat as shit. He was the only kid in the school fatter than me, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well yeah. done, dude. But, game recognized uh, game. But, yeah, so the minor fat, the smaller fat guy, you know, I you just You did it fucking, for honor? I did it for honor. That's cool. Honor and glory. Nick, have you ever done anything courageous or honorable? Uh, I mean, everything. I, I'm just a naturally brave individual. <laughs> so You ride a lot of roller coasters? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I live by a code, and that code is fucking never take shit from nobody. That's a good code. Especially, you know, people smaller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Especially women, <laughs> yeah. invalids, yeah. Uh, people, handicapped people. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think I've ever actually done anything courageous. Um, yeah. What do you mean by courageous? Like something? I mean, like I, I'll fucking, you know, I'm, pr- I, I'd say I'm pretty charitable and generous. Yeah, but I'm not like you know, I wouldn't fucking pretty generous with my cock. Yeah, I wouldn't like pull somebody out of a. Well, I guess I've never been in that situation, mm-hmm. so who knows? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I wonder if I have. I'm not sure. Have you done anything? I think one time I was at Disneyland, and my sister was like six or something. I was like 10, and my uncle was like swinging her around by her ankles, and then she slipped, and I think I grabbed her. I think she would have hit her head on the that's concrete. That's not heroic. Been, that's been retarded. That's, she nah, been retarded. That's just reflexes. What do you right. mean? You don't get reflexes. For that. I think I say. It. I'm, what were you gonna do? Let your sister fucking hit the. That's a floor? funny story. No, your your brain concocted to make up for what actually happened with your uncle in the dressing room. We were in the line for the teacups, dude. We were in the line for teacups. Yeah. I remember. It. And then I saved her, and that's what happened. You're gonna fucking like get a whiff of like Aquanet or something one day. And then you're gonna have a flashback, and it's all oh, wait, my sister wasn't even there. What? Why do you think she was there? What? You're gonna have to fucking leave your Chinese jerk off, Dad. Just immediately call all nine of your therapists that you're given for each candle on your precious candelabra. <laughs> the candelabra, the, the Jewish candelabra. candelabra. One therapist for each kid. <laughs> analyst, please use the proper Jewish term. Yeah, yeah, it is an analyst. What's the story? Hanukkah? Some lamp burned for eight days? Some shit like that? Is oh, that no, even no, no. It was like the, no, it was the Greeks. Well, there should be a MythBusters the Greeks, episode about no, that. No, the Stavs came I'm, in. I'm the mustache guy, and this is fuck you, Hanukkah. <laughs> is that picture that well, mustache guy's asshole real? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> the picture of the Mythbusters guy's asshole? Yeah, is that real? Uh, I don't know. Maybe is they should do a, a Mythbusters thing? episode. Is that on one of your websites? I mean, it's been around. I've seen it around. Which one? The mustache guy? Yeah, he's like holding his asshole open. Is he still wearing the hat? <laughs> I don't think so. Wait, you yeah. mean Goatsy? No. Yeah, I'm, Goatsy I, is uh, you Mythbusters You Goatsy guy. is Jamie No, I don't think Goatsy is the guy from Mythbusters. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> There's like a new Mythbusters, like I guess it's a comedy guy. That does it. Adam. I mean, Adam ruins everything. Yeah, it's like MythBusters. Weird. That was the original show. name of this podcast, but we had to <laughs> change it to Come Town because of that TV show. That's really good. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Another episode of Adam ruins. No, everything, I don't know, guys. man. I like. Th- th- yeah, I've seen that show. Yeah, it looks I a seen lot it. like like uh, bullshit, like Penn and Teller's bullshit. Hmm. Which was is it funny? Yeah, what the, is he? Except stand-up? without the libertarian views, which is what yeah, I really yeah, yeah. Which are, my favorite, what I like. My favorite, about it. my favorite bullshit episode was the one. Uh, recycling is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think some recycling medicine is for the poor is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I think paper recycling is good, but like glass is maybe not good. Whatever, man. Who cares? You should Fuck do it. Pen and Keller. You'd be better is uh, Penn and Keller, and it's Helen Keller, mm. and she's just screaming with a bunch of arrows sticking out. I of her would, head. I would like Teller and Keller. Get Penn the fuck out of there. Is yeah, that mute Teller guy Keller. trying to get that yeah. blind that lady to not, shut up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I imagine Helen Keller. And he's just making an exasperated Teller yeah. face. Mm. I wonder what noises Helen Keller made. 
Oh, it depends on what she was doing. Yeah. I guarantee you Adam would take a sexual advantage of Helen Keller. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. And he would go, what? She's not retarded. She's got the same <laughs> mental capacity as the rest of them. Actually, a greater mental capacity, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't about Adam that mental totally capacity It's about Helen that Keller. pussy capacity Guys I have a new girlfriend Yeah <laughs> she's really cool She's deaf and blind <laughs> And a socialist <laughs> <laughs> Was Ellen Keller a socialist? Yeah that's oh, why yeah. you don't hear about her or She yeah. was actually a communist You I don't hear do, about I her adult do, life I was doing a stand up bit for a while A couple of years ago About how like the feminists do kind of have a point About how you don't really learn about women in history Because mm-hmm. like my knowledge of it's like I think about like Helen. I would confuse Helen Keller and Anne Frank, and it's like because those are the only two. <laughs> right, right. And Amelia Earhart. Yeah. yeah, and it's like <laughs> it's, up, it's like all right. Well, here's all the men in history, and oh, I guess we got cramps of women there. It's like uh, yeah, this dead girl, and uh, oh yeah, some dumb bitch who couldn't <laughs> yeah. see or anything, something. <laughs> But those are the most important women in history. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck yeah, yeah. Harry Tubman and Amelia Earhart are the only other ones, probably. Yeah, Harry Tubman does rule legit. Sacagawea. Wait, was Harry Tubman a different woman than Sojourner Truth, or were they yes. the same woman? Yeah, they, no, they Sojourner just did, Truth was the. Uh, they was just the did the suff- same thing. She was a suffragist. Oh, she was. She was a su- yeah. Was Harry Tubman was, was, was badass. Sojourner as Truth hell, was like a black voting person. Oh, I think. And Harriet Tubman. Uh, I thought in, she was just a freed invented slave. Invented the MTA. She was the first black woman to work at the MTA. Oh. <laughs> she invented being rude to customers. <laughs> are there are there train guys that are offended? So, Harriet Tubman was the first woman Jesus. to say, "Sir, that is not my job." That is not my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually how slavery ended. <laughs> is, is Harriet Tubman said, "Sir, that is not my job." <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then my, oh fuck! Some southern dandy had to be like, "Pardon me, <laughs> <laughs> sir, that is not my problem." <laughs> I don't, I don't rightly know. I know how to deal with this. <laughs> Do you have a supervisor I can talk to, <laughs> sir? We closed. I'm on break. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck! It's a really good. Joke. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I think that ought to do it for us. Yeah, we got to order that pizza. All right, let's do that. All right, good night, folks. Oh wait. Uh, oh yeah, sh- funny moms is Monday. Oh, uh, this upcoming Monday. Shouts out to all the cumboys in New Orleans, my man. I think Paul sold you, me. You acid. already did the show, huh? Or why are you plugging the show? I'm saying shouts out there when everyone who came out. Well, Thank you should have done that at the beginning. This I is forgot. not the shout out section. This is why not? Because shout just, outs and plugs should go at the end. No, they shouldn't. Yes, they should. Well, you want to start a show with shout outs and plugs? Yeah, that's how the perfect. That's how the pros over at uh, Guys We Fuck do it. The show <laughs> starts off with 97 minutes of uh, uh-huh. uh, sponsor messages. Why are you calling outs. them pros? I'll do plugs because they make. Three hundred million dollars. Yeah, they're rich as hell. They're like top ten. A pro is anyone who makes more money than me. I thought amateur is your mom, (laughs) (laughs) huh? Ha ha! She gets fucked on camera. All right. Well, the upcoming Monday. What what is that? The twenty fourth. Yeah, uh, yo, I heard mom. Adam's mom gets fucked on DVD. (laughs) You can see her get bitch get fucked on on DVD R. (laughs) Yeah, the twenty fourth. Come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah, the 24th, come to the show. Thanks, guys. Bye.